Alright, welcome back to today's video. I've, I've had quite a bit of long break on YouTube. You probably haven't realised or seen it even because I haven't really been posting on Twitter, my social media as much. Uh, obviously, I've been posting on YouTube, but obviously, all that's been very low. I mean, it's scheduled, so it is low key. Some amazing vlog content coming soon, so stay tuned to this channel. Hit that subscribe button, like the video, and turn on post notifications on. I'm looking hella, 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 hella tan at the moment. But you don't care about all of that. What you are here for, and why you're watching this video from the title, is because we are going to be reacting to Hopsin's new song, new single, I Don't Want It. And I haven't listened to this. I was on holiday when it actually got released. It's a few days after, so I apologise that, that this is a bit late. I can obviously film the reaction video there. But now we're back. Hops in right now in the game. I mean, he's doing bits like he's Picasso. All these songs that he's releasing and they're fire. The music videos normally fire. This one looks good. He's, like, he's in a Lambo from the thumbnail. Uh, let's react. And I wouldn't even cry. If anyone tries to say he's a YouTube rapper, e No, he's literally top tier. Uh, rapper nowadays. So he's a good upcoming prospect of the hip hop industry. It's, like, it's literally came out five days ago. Jeez, it has been long. I apologize. You've probably seen our other reaction videos, but nothing like me. We dissecting this bitch. We give our thoughts and opinions. 2.8 million views. It's gone strong. Uh, this should have a good music video. This should probably be the last song. Oh, wait. Oh, well then. There's no music video. <laughs> We've gone clickbaited, but no, come on. There, let's, do, let's do this. Let's do this. Slap a like on this. Like You should slap the like on this video. All right, let's listen. Yeah. This will probably be the last song that I come out with for a while. Shit, really? I'm sorry, about my fans. Well, that's a bit dark, you know. It started off. The beat is, 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 I'm feeling something right now. I don't know what I'm feeling, but I'm feeling something. It's like some sort of storytelling beat. But he said, "Sorry to my fans. I'm probably gonna be the last song I'm posting in a while." Maybe because to be honest, he doesn't post often. When he does post, it's only fire. I mean, I release a song. Like, he does take a lot of time off, but then he gets inspired by so on. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Instantly caught on. Instantly caught on the song. I'm hooked on the song already. He's talking about Robin Williams. Obviously, he commits suicide. He hung himself. Which is obviously... Awful and just yeah. I, I, the, what he just said there is very. It's I, I can't even get, I wrap my head around. Let's just listen to that one more time. He's saying Robin Williams that he always thinks of him because he had all this money, all the cars, everything he ever wanted. But yet, yeah, still, it doesn't mean. I think I know what the song's gonna be. He's saying even though he got all of that, he still killed himself. What was he thinking five minutes before the? Hang on. Yeah. Before the belt cut his breath off and killed him, like hanged himself. Going deep here in the first 20 seconds, and the hops in. Okay, okay, I, I, I see you. <laughs> Alright, we had a technical difficulty there, sorry, but let's carry on. Okay. The Reapers in the room visiting. I just love his voice, mate. He does have that like grudgy '90s feel to his voice when he speaks about. Him. He said, I mean, he's been on Impulsive. If you haven't seen that, watch that as well. His interview on Impulsive. It was good because like he 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 knows what's up. He knows that he's like the, the best artist right now. J Cole, Kendrick Lamar, you know, all them people. And he's obviously all about the oldies as well. Like you know, Ghostface Killer, Big L, all of these people. Right. Well, I do leave, at least you know why I did it started way back then when I was a kid at first. Okay. And So you see, so you're talking like digging right into the past here. Like he did say something impulsive as well. Like when he was a kid, he wasn't exactly the most bubbly or you know outgoing person. He was a he was an introvert and like he just sort of kept himself to himself, which is you know it's no problem with that. And yeah, he's got deep. <laughs> I love that. I actually love that bar. It actually makes me feel happy just hearing that because I can relate to it a lot. Like his escape was skateboarding, and his problems kept recurring, so I resorted to music. Like music was his outlet, the same as me making videos and music. You know, it's my outlet. Everyone has their own creative outlet. You know, whether that being you know reading, exercising, music, anything. But you know, I I, I feel him on this one. I feel you, Hopsy man. 
And he's wearing he's wearing the um, eye contact as well once again, of course. But yeah, that was deep. Ooh. The beat, bro. He's talking about the proper dark stages of his life, or maybe like not necessarily dark, but you know the things that he's feeling inside. You can tell by the way his voice, uh, his energy about it. You know, it's meaningful. Too. Like a little ad lib, da, 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 da. and a little bells. You know what? The the chorus, this chorus so far, I think this is it. Just I don't want it no more. It slaps because like it works so well with the message he's putting out. He doesn't want the cards, doesn't want the money, doesn't want the fame anymore. Because I mean, it, it keeps people are not understanding this. It's so many cases of this come out and people say it, and like you should listen to people like Hop Sinners and like yes, it's good to have all these necessities, but you know, and acquire these good things, but. It's about how you are as a person, like, like it's, it doesn't necessarily make you happy, as we've seen from Robin Williams, as we've seen from, even he's talking about, like, he's got these things now. Look, he's, in the, in the thumbnail, in the video, in the picture here, he's in a Lambo, but he's done, I mean, he looks quite happy, but, you know, this guy, he doesn't, he doesn't uh, rely on that to be based on his happiness, or, you know, how far he feels in going in life, you know. It's got like an Eminem feel to it, the chorus. It's, it's, look, it's crazy. The ad lib is crazy. It's so true as well. Like when you get to a certain point, you know, I've actually technically experienced this on a very low level. But when you get to a certain point, whether you're succeeding or whatever, like you see the fake people come, you see people, you know, the, the yes men, the people licking your ass because you know they know what you got and they want that only from you, not a friendship or nothing, but. You know. Went from a loser in school who got the worst grades to being praised for all my verses when I disperse rage. I got the That's what I'm saying. Because his verses now, now he's getting praised. He didn't used to get praised when he was that kid, that corny and stupid kid back in school. Hey. Hey. That's so true, like literally moved into a white, like when you're rich you get a big house, typically you're going to be in a white area because that's how people are rich nowadays apparently in America uh, or wherever the state is from and like people asking him for five favours, what do you say people ask, hang on, spending my paper which is you know his money like, okay. That's so true. Like people expect from him. They they think of him as what do you say? They think of him as an ATM machine. Uh, and if I don't give them money, then that then then you know shit. I'm the enemy. Like you're, you, they they got some sort of grudge against you if you don't give them money. Like they expect that uh, just because they know that you have money. Hey. Yeah. Wait, it was what? Full boil volume for life. Oh, he's going in now. Your boy hops in. This is this is this is the dark side of hops in. Ill minds of. By the way, this video. Let me just point out. It says ill mind of hops in. So is this one of them? It doesn't say it in the title, but maybe this is leading, leading up to a project. Maybe that's why he's taking so much time off for that. Anyway, we're getting too far ahead. That's what happens. Like people, like you think you're good friends with someone, or relationship, or whatever with someone, and then you people part their ways. That's how life is, you know. So like when you're at school, you think oh, I'm the best mates with this guy and this girl and this girl, and then you know, life shows you that you part away because you end up being different people in complete different levels. 
But yeah. Those are some of my darkest days. Ask us free. It's always gonna be a money. This girl told me she's pregnant. This was something I never expected. Her and I weren't on good terms at the time, but it was hectic. And I was scared if she kept this baby, I might regret it, man. Well, where did this come from that helps in? Where did this come from? Wait, did, did that actually happen? Wait, he, did, as in he got a girl pregnant? He has a kid now? No, or the, I think he means more like he's with, he's with a girl and she got pregnant just with someone else, but he's with him at the time. But shit, man, how is he gonna raise a son at that age? Baby, be concerned, I had a fucking toxic relationship. Last thing we need is a fucking time to raise it. Facts. Having a baby is great, but not as amazing when you got two parents who always fighting, hollering, breaking shit. That's what I'm saying, man. People rush into babies nowadays at like 16. Chill, relax, give it some time, because you know, it's, it can be toxic. Present day, all my people are gone. No real friends, just leeches around eating the crumbs. No family bonds, no FB, can't be with my son. No fucking girlfriend, I swear I thought that she was the one. Facts, people go quick, and he's saying right now, present day, everybody I have is gone. Like literally all his friends, family, girlfriend, people that think he would marry the one, all gone. I feel alone, and I struggle to get my fans with a lot from me. Gotta say the beat as well. Whoever produced this, I'm not sure about the yeah, yeah, sort of like singing. I don't know what that was, but you know, you've heard, heard it. Slaps, you know. I'm struggling to build this UP company. This U I'm not sure what that means. You know, comment down below what that means. A lot of his music, uh, God help me please, like incorporates a lot of religious stuff in it, so, yeah. I'll feel that, hops in, man. Instead of focusing on the fame, I should have focused on the love. So true, but I guess it's hard for people to see when you're not in that position. But take it from him, you know. He's got the cars, he's had the money. But he should have, he regrets it. He wish he could, you know, rewind back and click the button for, you know, you have two paths. Take the path for love instead of, you know, fame and uh, money. The chorus as well. What's that saying on his t shirt? Undercover Prodigy, I think. Shit. Oh, UP. Okay, now it makes sense. Undercover project. Okay. Is that his brand? I think. I think so. He's got a bandana on too. That's it. Oh. Big facts right there. He's saying he's got to find himself. Maybe that, maybe that he said being serious. I thought it was more of like a like a I thought it was more of like a publicity stunt. Was saying at the start just for like a cool, cool corny bit at the start, but me, maybe he does want a lot of time off and he just released that to make people think that you know he, just because he's not posting doesn't mean anything. Like he doesn't really want to maybe release loads of music and spend loads of money and do this that. Maybe he just wants some time to himself, which is important, you know. But out of ten, I'd probably give that song probably a nine for for the message, the delivery, everything. The beat was the well, beat goes hard. The beat goes hard. You know, uh, it's just the storytelling in it is what I really appreciate nowadays. That is a new wave. I mean, it's always has been, but like, you know, especially nowadays because you, it, it just it's nice and refreshing to see that over overall and uh, beyond all you know the the crappy shit eating you know whatever I'm up right nowadays anyway. Like, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like. Comment down below as well what you rate this out of ten. Hit that subscribe button too. You know it really does help me. Click that note. Click that notification bell, of course. It notifies you every time I upload. Your boy. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in a bit. Now your vids hold no weight, like Titanic channel sinking to the ground Talking your piece on the web, karma always come around Eating up these W's, can't you see I have the crown Feasting on you enemies, dead and buried in the ground Digging your own hole in the soil of what I found Your shit inconsistent, I don't really fuck around Put some respect on my name, you playing with the hounds I've been waiting, I've been saving all these bullets, all these rounds And I wonder why this hate or this hate don't come around I'm the king to the front of this shit, wearing the crown Flooding all you haters, you ain't shit, now you left to drown